Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen and today we're going to be doing another backyard makeover here at the lake house. Last year we started with the side patio and this year we're continuing the design around to the back. This side of the patio connects to our living space so I really want to create an indoor outdoor feel so you can walk right out from the living room onto the outdoor patio. So I hope this video gives you some ideas on how you can decorate and furnish your outdoor space this summer. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and I want to give a huge thank you to Article for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, it's time to get this backyard cleaned up. It's looking a little junky from the winter, but honestly, it's never really looked that great. We've never finished off this backyard since we moved in. So I can see this entire space from the living room and I don't love the way it looks right now. Clearly it's not super functional. I want it to be an extension of our living space. This area here, you can actually see off of the kitchen. So I wanna make this kind of like a bar dining space. So I think it's gonna be really nice having all of these different zones around the backyard. Let's get this backyard cleaned up, the windows cleaned so we can start from scratch. window cleaning set on Amazon, which I'm really excited to try out because every time I clean these windows, they look streaky and dirty and it's hard to get them clean. So it really ruins the view from the inside if the windows aren't clean. So I'm trying everything I can. This is a little Windex scrubber and then this is a vacuum powered squeegee. If it works great, I'll link it all down below. really well. Another gray day here. I was really hoping for some sunshine today, but here we are with the clouds again. So I think tomorrow's going to be sunny and we'll feel the patio vibes out here. I'm going to start here in our living room lounge. This walks right out to the dock, the lake, and I just wanted to have some really nice flow. So the best way to do that is actually to lay down an outdoor rug. I love outdoor rugs that actually look like indoor rugs. So you get a really great transition to your outdoor space. Wow, this is the perfect outdoor rug. It totally looks like an indoor rug. You could actually use it as an indoor rug as well. It's just really durable. Next, we're gonna bring out some outdoor furniture. I am so excited because as soon as you have good outdoor furniture that's stylish and cute, it just makes your entire outdoor space look better. So that's the plan here. We're gonna bring the space to life with beautiful pieces. I'm so excited to be partnering with Article on today's patio makeover again because their furniture is impeccable. Out of any outdoor furniture I've ever got for this house, my article pieces have held up the longest, the best. They look pristine and new still, and they have the best styles. So much selection. I can't say enough good things. Outdoor furniture is pretty finicky, and you have to get good quality pieces for them to really last. So Article makes it so easy to create beautiful spaces. They offer high quality furniture at a great price that's designed to last. Plus, I always appreciate quick shipping and Article delivers really fast on in-stock items and they give you estimated times on each product page so you can really gauge when your order is going to arrive. They offer front door delivery almost anywhere in the US and Canada for a flat rate of $49 and free shipping is available on orders over $999. How cute is this love seat? This is the Merle love seat, and I love that it's bold and neutral. It has a neutral palette, but a really bold design. There's no arms, so it feels really open, and it's just really deep and comfortable. So this is such a cute piece out here. These are the McCallie outdoor lounge chairs. They're comfortable, they're deep, and I like that all of the cushions are removable, so you can totally change the look of them. I just love this view right here with the roses in the back. Oh, this furniture looks so good out here. 
Now, outdoor living spaces are really fun because instead of a coffee table, you can do fire pits. And I found a fire pit that's actually half coffee table, half fire pit, so that you get a little bit of ambiance, a little bit of heat coming from it, but you also have a functional coffee table. If you already have a fire pit, you can kind of change up the look of it and elevate it a little bit by getting ceramic balls like these. These would be to replace the lava rock. So I personally really love the look of them. They're really modern. They just make it look really clean and elevated. So I love this option, but I only ordered 15 and this fire pit is a lot bigger than I thought it was. So I think I'm gonna keep it as is, but for the future, I can always change it up. And if you wanna change up your fire pit, you can always customize it like this. Always make sure to cover the propane tank because it's not the prettiest thing. This fire pit comes with this tank cover that also acts as a side table and we're also going to be hiding the cord underneath the rug. So I just cut a little hole in the rug just underneath the table and we're going to weave this whole cord through so you can't see it and it doesn't become a tripping hazard. This lounge area is looking really good. Now we're gonna create our second zone, which is gonna be counter height dining. So we have this nice countertop here, which is great for serving. You can even open the windows and just do a nice pass through. So I've always wanted bar stools here so we can really utilize this more. And then counter height seating here that actually looks out towards the lake. These are really cute and comfortable. I love how wide they are. And again, we're repeating this round shape around the entire backyard, so it really flows. So these match really well with our lounge chairs over there. These come in a bunch of different colors, but I chose white pepper. I wanted to keep this middle part pretty flexible because it is the pass-through zone between each side of the yard. So I wanted flexibility here. These tables fit four people, so you can always move the countertop stools over here so you can fit more people or vice versa. So it's all interchangeable. You can use these standing, sitting. They kind of make the backyard feel more like an event space or a restaurant. I could even imagine little date nights out here. It just has the best view. Now there's gonna be things in your yard that are just practical items, like a hose, but you can turn these into more decorative displays just by hiding them in a more decorative piece. So I'm gonna be winding this hose inside of this hose pot. This houses the hose, it keeps it all wound in a circle, but it also makes it look a little bit more decorative. I'm putting it inside of my little bar cart so I can create a little station here by this wall. Now this little corner here has always been a little bit random, but you can see it from the inside of the house here, actually straight through to the front door. So I want to make it look a little bit prettier with some layered planters. So I got three different sizes of the tuba planter. I like that it's the same design, but in different sizes. So they group well together in this little group of three. This is the wide, this is the tall wide, and then this is the tall narrow. Now I just have to go get some plants. I got all my flowers. I ended up going with a pretty warm color palette, a lot of whites, but also orange and yellow, just to really work with the existing backyard. I don't really like having super warm spaces like that and then bringing in blue or purple flowers. I just think it clashes. So I'm trying to work with the color palette and pick flowers that really match with that space.
outside this morning to finish up this makeover. I'm hoping for some cloud separation because it's another cloudy one, but I really want to finish up this space. It's looking so great and I can have it done for the weekend. So today we're installing some lighting and small details to really bring the space to life. How cute is this umbrella? I found it at Home Depot. The colors match all of our furniture so perfectly. The neutral wood pole, the stripe, it has an automatic tilt. It's super cute. I actually got three of these umbrellas because I love the way they look. I'm pretty picky about my umbrella design and I love these ones. They were also a very, very good price. So I picked up three so we could line the entire backyard in umbrellas. We really wanna be able to enjoy this space in the evening and the nighttime, so string lights are a must. I don't really have anywhere to kind of drape them across the yard, so we're actually just gonna be going right across the roof line. guys we are finally done the patio makeover and i love it it's exactly what i was going for it's cute it's fun it blends the entire yard together now and it feels like a full extension of our home we have so much more living space out here it's going to be so great for entertaining day and night i can't wait to show you guys what it looks like and i cannot wait to see it for myself at night with all the fire the candles the glowing lights i think it's going to be so pretty so let's think back to what the patio used to look like a little junky, not really anything going on, not a great usable space, but a whole lot of potential. Now let's check out what our new summer patio looks like now. Look how cozy. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Oh my God, dude. Right? Cozy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is nice. This is like a full blown, like, entertaining backyard now. Yeah. Like, we could, we could, we could have people over. Like, like we didn't over. even use this half before. Like, this is so much more, like, user friendly. It's crazy how much, like, a layout like this creates functionality in a backyard. You could have some people sitting here having a drink here. You have that middle area, people could just sit out and like enjoy the view. Doesn't it like bar. literally look like a little restaurant yeah. over there? So now the patio is complete. I want to have people over. I know, I was like, we need to have a party I now. Have, I want to have a party now. This is a party place. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Upa. Thanks. Killed Yay. It. Killed it. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Hi, 
How cute is the patio? I am so excited to have it done. I can't wait to use this fire pit at night, host our friends and family. It just adds so much to our home now and makes it feel like it just keeps going. All the furniture is so comfortable and cute and this makeover would not be possible without Article. So thank you so much again to Article for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are looking for any outdoor furniture or indoor furniture, I could not recommend Article more. They have such great stuff and I know you guys would really love them. So I'll link all of these pieces that I use down below in the description box so you guys can check them out as well. If you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have my notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!